Grade 6, Subject Science, Chapter 8, Body Movements, Module 3. Objectives. At the end of the session, you will be able to understand about cartilages and muscles. Let us check. There are some parts of the body which are hard but not as hard as the bones. Can you think of some parts of your body that are like this? Feel your ear. There does not seem to be any bone in here, but it is still a bit hard. We can feel a difference between the earlobe and the portion above it. The upper part of the ear is not as soft as the earlobe, but not as hard as a bone. Such body parts are called cartilage. Cartilages are also found in our nose. And also, we can see cartilages mainly at our joints. Cartilage is a soft elastic tissue that covers the bones at the joints. It helps in the movement of our joints. Please watch the picture. But when the cartilage gets teared or when the cartilage breaks down, it will create the joint pains. What did we just learn? Cartilage is a soft, elastic and flexible tissue that covers the bones at the joints. Cartilage reduces friction between bones and lets the joint move smoothly. Cartilage is also present in the ear and nose. Cartilage is also present in the vertebral column and trachea. So that's all about cartilage. Let's move to the second point that is muscles. We have learned a bit about bones and joints. We know that joints in the bones help us move. But how? We make our bones and joints move the way they do. Or what makes our bones and joints move the way they do? Make a fist with one hand. Bend your arm at the below. Sorry, at the elbow. Do you see any change in the shape of your upper arm? Do you see a bulge from, form in the upper arm when you flex? That bulge is because of a muscle. The muscle bulges because it contracts. Contracts means it gets squeezed. So it pops up like that. When muscles contract, they become shorter, stiffer and thicker. Muscles can also relax and become longer. When you flex like this, it's because of this muscle contracts and skews. At the same time, this muscle relaxes and becomes longer. The muscles contract and relax in pairs so that we can move. Muscles have to do this to pull the bones at the joints. So you can see to make the joints move, muscles have to work in pairs. When one contracts, the other relaxes and vice versa. What did we just learn? Joints help us move but they cannot move on their own. Muscles that are attached to the bones around the joints make the joints move. Muscles can only pull a bone. They cannot push. That is very important. Muscles can only pull a bone. They cannot push. To make a joint move, both ways, muscles need to work in pairs. 
So that's all. Let us move to the follow-up activity. It's very simple. Google and find out number of muscles in our body. Find it out and come the next day. Thank you. Have a nice day.